Yeah, hello fellow YouTubers and subscribers, sorry about the background noise, um, neighbouring plot's doing a bit of work. Um, come back down today um, and I'm basically going to be sorting the greenhouse out. Um, now obviously I'm not too happy with this wasted space, so what I'm going to be doing today guys is I'm going to be clearing all this off and basically taking these slabs up and extending the bed further out and same as the one across the back, I'm going to be bringing that forward and taking that last row of slabs out. Just to utilise the space a little bit more if I'm honest with you guys. Um, so what I shall do is I shall make a start and I shall get back to you once I've cleared the canvas. And we'll go from there guys. Right guys, so as you can tell, I've uh, took the front of that bed off. Now what I'm going to do is spend the next five minutes lifting all of these slabs across here. slabs up that I need to take up. I also need to take a row out here that I'm stood on. Let's bring this bed also forward and give myself a lot bigger beds inside the greenhouse. So once I've done this one guys Alright guys, so this is where I've got to now, um, obviously you see me digging up this bed, digging over this, the part where the slabs was, um, I managed to get the frame in place and I've basically dug that over and then hoed it over, um, but also I'm going to be running a mantis over it as well, just to get it really fine because obviously you know, it's been very compact under them slabs for many many years. Um, Totally forgot to stick things on when I start recording, so I do apologise. Um, I am a little bit further ahead than I was, um, and I've also managed to bring that bed forward as well. Okay, the table runs on it at the minute, but luckily I've just brought the metal saw, so I'm going to be able to saw that part from about there. I'm going to be able to saw that section off. Um, and then what I'm going to be doing is taking the, these two sets of slabs up and making the exact same bed down that side. Um, so, yeah, what I'll do, guys, as soon as I've dug all that over and mantis it and you know run the mantis over it and stuff i'll come back to you and show you what the finished product's gonna look like to a degree um there is a fair bit of topping up to do and i am glad that it's left me that nice lip on either way all the way around because to be honest what i should have done from day one is actually add manure to it um and obviously with how high up the soil was before i was a bit concerned that i'm obviously i'm not the best to dig manure in there because i'm gonna have to take loads of soil out first so now that i've done this i've actually lowered the level of the bed so I've actually got enough room now to stick leaf mulch, stick manure, you know. So, uh, yeah, like I say, guys, once I've dug that over, run the mantis over it, I'll come back to you and I'll show you the uh, kind of the finished product, obviously, minus this side piece here, which obviously I've not got the timber for at the moment. So see you soon, guys. All right, guys, so that's done now. Um, I've ran the mantis over it, which is just there. Um, I'll tell you what, if you haven't got one of them machines, 
get one. They are awesome for uh, breaking down the soil. I mean, it's still quite a lump, but I ain't done yet. Obviously, I've still got to put manure in it. I've still got to, I might even use all my leaf mulch and dig a load of leaf mulch in it. Because um, I can't imagine it'd have much nutrients left um, now anyway. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy, guys, um, with basically how, how the lip is, like I say. Because now that does give me the... Uh, the room to add some more substances and uh you know really pick the ground up a lot more um so yeah really really chuffed um i know some people may say oh you know that's a bit of a big bed for a greenhouse the greenhouse is massive <laughs> so it's not really an issue um as long as i've got that one slab set of slabs to walk down and when i've done that one that 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 side will also be the same size bed as that um but what i also actually was thinking guys um let me know what you think in the comments instead of going this wide instead of going this wide on that side do i just go do you reckon i should just go one slab because what i'm looking at is them legs sit on that slab so what i'm actually thinking so i was to run a thinner bed down that edge basically come like you know seeding time and stuff what i could do is i could make a top that goes over the top of that bed if i just done it a slab wide um and then obviously i can you know i can store this bench around the corner at the back of my shed here um and then obviously you know i can still do my seedlings and stuff in here so yeah let me know what you think guys whether i should bring this one to you know two slabs or keep it at one slab and then create a a stand over the top of the bed obviously a stand that's not going to compact the soil um it will kind of sit on that bit of wood and that bit of wood and then i've still got somewhere to put my a smallish size bench and possibly a shelf unit or something um but yeah he's i'll tell you what guys i wish honestly i'm I kind of annoyed at myself because obviously if you guys look back at videos it wasn't long ago that i actually did these and obviously done it to the one slab wide um why i didn't just do what i've done now in the first place because now i've got so much more planting land um it's kind of ridiculous how much land i've got to plant in in here now um but my partner's a little bit worried at the minute you know about you know having to having one row of slabs because she's like oh, if i walk in and you can't get in i says well no i says because you do your bigger taller bushier plants at the back and then you do like your chilies and your peppers and whatever else at the front or your smaller tomato plants um but yeah really chuffed guys um so i hope you enjoyed watching and like if you are new to the channel if you could hit the subscribe button um and hit the bell notification to keep up to date with the latest Thank you so much to each and every one of you for your continued support. I'm glad you're enjoying the content as well. And I shall catch you on the next one, guys. So for now, take care. Bye-bye.